Yo, what is good? Welcome back to another Bulldogs Cup video. We're in the 16th round, taking on the Melbourne Storm, who are currently coming second. So it's a clash of the top two here. It should be a decent game, but Melbourne's form's a little inconsistent, winning three from their last five. And as for us, if you missed our last game, we destroyed the Panthers with a masterclass performance, 24 points to nil. Our new look back line were pretty solid in attack and on defense as well. Speaking of, there's no changes to our lineup. I've kept the same team and um. Looking at this Melbourne outfit, it'll be interesting to go up against the likes of Slater and Cooper Cronk, Cameron Smith and the rest of the good players. They've got some decent outside backs. So I'm going to start off the ball here. Nice little short ball to Clemmer. Already making a break here downfield. Passed out 40. We go right to short side. Drawing pass to Eastwood. Out to Rona on the wing. And he's going to get tackled there. 25 out from their line. And they give away a penalty. First tackle, Garvey shifts it to Reynolds, drops an inside ball to Tolman, and he's going to take it to the line here, a few meters out. Second tackle for us, we're going to shift it to the left once again, with Reynolds and we throw the perfect cutout ball. Morris goes through untouched, simple stuff, capitalizing off that penalty, we got the overlap on the left and that's where we went. As we convert the kick here with Mercer's Zimbai. Second tackle for us, back with Reynolds, there's a cutout ball to Eastwood. Little inside ball to Hopper, but he gets wrapped up. We're about 21 out from our own line. Goes to Graham. Gets past one, throws a loose pass there. Unnecessary offload, scooped up by Kronk, and he's going to score Melbourne's first try. Terrible offload there. Looks like it's Kronk taking the conversions as he nails it from right in front. Back off the ball here, first tackle. Shifting it early. Out to Jackson on the wing, and he's going to get met by... Proctor I think it is off the hair. Taken just past halfway. Second tackle for us. We go to Josh Reynolds. Dummies inside. Goes to Morris. Shifts the ball to Tolman. He's gonna take it up to the line a few more meters. And they give away yet another penalty. It's funny because the computer rarely gives penalties away unless you wriggle the stick. I'm not actually doing it because it's kind of an exploit but I find it funny that when the AI does it, it's with the Melbourne, who, if you don't know, in real life are notorious for grapple tackles and stuff like that, slowing the game down. Has been dropping beautiful ball there. Curtis Rona to Tyrant Phillips. We get tackled just before halfway. Garvey with the scoop. Shifts the ball. Through the hands here, Reynolds to Jackson. Draws and passes to Morris with another drone pass to Brett Morris. And we're going to beat the fullback there and race to the corner. Simple stuff there, soaked up the outside backs and we had Morris 1-on-1 of Slater. Got lucky and beat him there. But the initial break, the Curtis ran a short ball to Tyrone Phillips as well, really set that up. Looking at the halftime stats here, Melbourne's having a shocker so far. Three errors, two penalties and we're kind of dominating in possession. Hopefully we can keep this performance up as we get back into the second half with the kick here. And off the bat, we're going to kick it on the full. Weren't really looking at the wind. As we wait for the kick to touch by Kronk, and like us in the first half, Kronk's not going to find the line with Brett Morris, looking to utilize all this room here. We're going to get the fend on Slater and race towards the line once again. Brett Morris is going to score under the posts. And it's a kind of bizarre start to the second half. First we give away a penalty, and then Kronk doesn't find the line. And we're able to capitalize right away off that mistake. So back on the attack, we're saving the kick here of Brett Morris. We fend our way past one, and a series of drawing passes until Josh Morris is caught on the wing. So we're trying to turn the Bulldogs team into a great attacking team, and we're kind of doing that, definitely getting better as we progress through the season here. Our attack's been pretty solid, trying to score some decent looking tries because anyone can just spam passes left and right. As we make another break here with Rona, and we're going to beat Slater on the outside. Having a shocking game. This new looking back line of ours has been generating a lot of points in the last two games. We've scored about 40 something points. And we miss our first goal there. It's just away to the left. It wasn't even that hard of a kick. But we got the timing wrong as we drop a short board of Cassiano. Getting tackled 25 out from our line. Attacking the short side. Morris is in space here. Brett Morris. Finally wrapped up by Slater on halfway. Fourth tackle for us, we're going to look to use the back line. Goes to Mbai. Cut out pass to Phillips. We went to pass back inside, but he gets hammered there. Just before halfway. Goes to Mbai, I'm going to drill it downfield. Gathered by Korobiti. And we wrap him up 19 now. So we're going to get the ball back here. Melbourne's just been terrible on attack. 
Morris links up with Hopper to take the return there, getting second on the 40. Shop order Reynolds. Nice pass there. Third tackle for us. We go wide. Cut up all the Phillips. We've got numbers here. Drawing pass. Simple stuff to Reynolds. He's going to score another try here. And <laughs> we just hop over the line there. Scoring yet another try. Just totally dominating Melbourne right now. This time the raid is right for M. Bias. We slot the kick. Five to go for Moses M. in the pocket. We call for the ball and we're going to kick a perfect. Perfect kick, terrible bounce, but it gets taken out anyway by Slater. Back of the scrum, goes to Reynolds, we just put a little chip through. At this point, we're just toying with Melbourne here. Give them the ball. They get a few runs as the game winds down here. Blair kicks it early. <laughs> no point really, giving us the ball. We're going to close the game out with one last run from Curtis Rona. A super dominant effort by us once again, 28 points to 6. Melbourne's points covering off a loose pass of ours. A lack of discipline by Melbourne ultimately led them to their loss. As we look at the full-time stats here, 5 tries to 1. Brett Morris picks up a well-deserved man of the match. And as always guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. You say that I've changed, and maybe I have, but you were down, babe. So change ain't always bad, but I always seem to lose it as soon as I get it. Now these women.